Stadium filling up nicely. Ready. Both cover will get us Play. underway. It's a nice start. Love 50. On this coach. Nicely done, good movement, good control once she got there. And Boskova is going to be expecting the drop shot to come. And so the anticipation was there, right inside the baseline. Does have experience, a little bit of experience of playing in this stadium before. It takes some getting used to. Played at Naomi Osaka at the US Open. Thirty fifty. Is that a factor this evening, Laura? Something you're, you're looking out for? How how quickly she settles? You would assume Ons would be m more comfortable with this sort of surrounding. Yeah, Ons definitely had more crowd support as she walked out here. In, in general handles these kind of situations Four, two, very well because her game style is just to play a lot of balls in play and so she can kind of play herself into form even if there are some nerves hasn't been uh, the most straightforward of stays in New York so far for Ons of course something you're referencing Laura the, the heartbreak of another Wimbledon final de defeat to process initially And that was a tough yeah, loss because I think many felt that maybe it was Chabot's Wimbledon final to, to win that one against Von Drusova. Were you of that opinion going into that final? I was, and I, I think half the problem was that Ons felt the same way. Uh, and so she went that early break up in the first set and you could just see her start to panic a little bit and never quite got it back. Karolina Mukova already through, in fact. She beat Taylor Townsend yesterday, so into the fourth round in the top half. Top half of the draw back in action tomorrow, day seven. Von Drusova in action later this evening. Kareem. Well, you give Boskova this one pace and she thrives on it. She loves to just redirect counter punch almost. More so with the forehand, the backhand, she can generate her own pace. Fair bit of variety on display from the fifth seed, as uh, we've become accustomed to over recent years. Not the easiest summer, has it? Trying to process that Wimbledon defeat. She took a bit of time off. 
it was probably a good decision just to get away from the sport for a, a little while. Just played Cincinnati between Wimbledon and, and the US Open. That's a, a big WTA event. A couple of weeks before the US Open, but has been suffering oh. with an illness as well on top of everything else that you were telling me Laura struck just before the main draw got underway. So that will have disrupted her, her preparations. Yeah, she, she basically said after the match that she didn't really want to be out there. It was one of those days where you're not even close to 100%, but with every point that she won, she kind of forced herself into the match. Got a, an uncomfortable win. Yeah, we were on upset alert, awesome. weren't we, for a little while. That's a, that was our first round match against Camilla Osorio. Eventually came through 7-5, 7-6, but had the doctor out. And afterwards, said she felt a little bit like a zombie out there. So good effort, really, to come through that. It might have been much easier just to check out of that sort of match. You're not feeling your best. And then tough contest against Noskova. That was 7-6, 4-6, 6-3. But here she is in the third round. And as you say, sometimes you come through those tougher matches early in the draw. Get through those and give you a bit of self-belief and start playing your way into the tournament. And presumably, hopefully, feeling a lot better physically now with a the beauty of a Grand Slam event, of course. One game off, first set. Play a singles match and then you get one day off. So that was just over a week ago that she started feeling unwell. So fingers crossed she's almost back to 100%. Yeah, I saw her on site yesterday and she was taking it very easy the last few days. Those two days that she's had between the matches, very relaxed hitting up and down the middle just to try and get a bit of rhythm, but absolutely by no means pushing it. Probably a slightly 59. more comfortable time of the day to play as well, isn't it? If you, you maybe are struggling, it's... A little bit cooler than it was in the afternoon, of course. Set to get warmer from tomorrow. I think we're going to yeah, make get it, your sunscreen. Yeah, it make it boiling. to the low 90s, aren't we? Which is quite unusual for September in New York. Let for serve. Hopefully, it will stay dry for the remainder of week two. Pretty comfortable out there. That match against Osaka on this court was 2021. She lost that match, incidentally, but at least it, it's a taste of life inside Arthur Ashe Stadium because this is, I'm familiar with this tournament, this is the biggest tennis stadium in the world. It is a beast of a court. Oh, just pushed it wide. I mean, if if Ons isn't feeling 100% still, this is probably one of the worst matchups that you can get. Both are so solid. Unless she's having a really bad day, you're not going to get too many unforced errors out of her ground strokes. I think that's why we're already seeing so many drop shots from, from Ons trying to get her opponent off the baseline. And I, I think Jabba doesn't need to be afraid of throwing in a bit of height as well to Boskova's forehand. More often than not, she lets it come down all the way, drops back a few metres behind the baseline. Yeah, it's a good serve and a good hold. It's been a good start by the 31st seed. Looking comfortable out there at the moment. Calm and confident. 2-1. Two Which is good news. Oh, 
haven't had a good run in since he, so decent prep. Preparation for Boskova, made quarterfinals there. Very good win over Jesper Gula in uh, the round of 16, four and love. Doesn't seem to be afraid of the top players, does she? She's won her last four meetings against top 10 opponents. 39. Well, it's where you go back to, if you're not having a great day, it's one of the worst opponents you can get. And she racks up so many wins. By her opponents 30, outplaying themselves out there and, and overthinking what to do. Just feeling so much pressure because she, she makes a lot of balls through the middle third of the court. She likes to take the pace on. Loose ones from Chabert. Perhaps the door just starting to open a touch for Czech player. Bit of concern in the Tunisian's box. Combination there from Jabir opening up to both of his backhand to just create some space for herself to go twice to the forehand. I think the back behind to Boskova's forehand will work really well tonight. Just to use a bit of the pace of the court. Shame. Great rally. Good defense from the Czech. Did well to stay in the point. Juice. Both players the same end as their teams at the moment. So you'll hear a bit of chatter from coaches and friends and family. And just rushing through that last forehand. First break point of the match then. Falls to the number 31 seed. Goodness me, she did well off a very, very high, awkward dropping ball. Juice. Just inside the baseline, she played that from. Uh, bounce smash difficult from any position of the court, let alone from back there. It's been the slightly more erratic of the two so far. And four star account up to six. Another chance for the check. First her percentage a touch on the low side as well. Let second serve. Let 
That's the second serve. Living dangerously. Third time lucky. Oh. <laughs> second serve. Fourth time lucky, is that a thing? <laughs> Just now. Let's stay focused here. This is a big point. Another go at the second serve. Backhand that was. Living on the edge with the serve, living on the edge with that backhand, the hitch kick. Juice. So two saved. I'm not totally convinced that she's 100% yet on. Oh, she's looking pretty gassed go. after that last point. And then you rush through the juice point, and all of a sudden, back at break point. To an eighth minute, this fourth game. Well done, playing the break points superbly. Juice. Boskov is quick out there though. Look at the position that she plays the forehand from to then cover this short one and not be too far off. On we go, juice number four. Stuff that that first strike in. Uh, here we go again. Well, Ons having some trouble off the first serve. 39% first serves in so far. Fourth chance to break. Oh. This is another. Again, I mean, how close was the forehand? Boskova just turned the ankle there. Just looked a little uncomfortable Juice. after trying to chase that short ball down. Yeah, it looked like she just jolted her foot slightly. Oh, yeah. Just a bit of a sharp stab there. Looks okay, she's in position. But the, uh, the forehand that Jabur hit must have cleaned the line. So that's four saved now, break points. At that stage, Buskova. Ten minutes done. Game four. <laughs> F 
finally rewarded yeah, for her efforts. Kept plugging away. And she's made a really good start to this match. She's got the fifth seed and last year's runner-up in trouble. I just don't know that going open court, open court is going to be the play tonight because Boskova moves so well side to side that you need to get her on the stretch a bit more, figure out a way to make her play an uncomfortable shot because it just looks like she's playing everything in the strike zone so far. Bird's eye view of this facility. Quick reminder to download the US Open app. Follow your favourite players, latest scores, stats, highlights, all the news, schedules on there. That's uh, available in the App Store, Google Play Store. Love 15. It's the first thing I check when I get up in the morning over the course of a slam. The US Open app. US Open app. <laughs> Yeah, especially, I mean, first week, there's so much going on, isn't there? If you take your eye off any of the tennis, even for an hour or so, you've potential of missing key results. Jump nicely. Fifteen thirty. Most of the unforced errors coming in the net from Jabir so far. Not quite enough rotation. of return position. Oh, that's just <laughs> flashed up on the big screens. Wow, that was missed by a fraction. Two millimeters, we're hearing. The look on her face says it all. <laughs> An adjustment of two millimetres would probably probably have earned her a couple of break points, but we're back to 30 all. the right thing and take the second serve return well inside the baseline but just looks a fraction of a step slower than normal Jabir tonight it's yeah, good hold and a strong start continues Buskeva leads by four games to it's one a, first a healthy set. lead I suppose Kiva heads to the sit down. 4 1 up on the fifth seed. Fifteen love. 
Well, the good thing is, even though Boska has only hit the two unforced errors, she's only hit the two winners. So you've at least got a chance to be the one dictating play out there. Thirty love. Both made quarters in Cincy. That was a mention. That was just the the only tournament Ons played between Wimby and here at the U.S. Open. Lost to Sabalenka there in the quarterfinals. Straight sets. Good run at Wimbledon. It ended in heartbreak, but some some very good victories for Shabur along the way. Kvitova, Ribakina, Sabalenka. Yeah, it's dropped in. 30 15. Which probably makes that defeat in the final even harder to take, doesn't it? Because, you know, you're going into a final on the back of three top 10 wins. Yeah, you win all those tough matches, and then you finally feel like you can breathe a bit. I suppose especially uh, beating Rubikina as well, who of course beat her in the final the year before. So you've got to you've, got to, you've come through that sort of that mental block, if you like. A big win over one of the most dangerous players in the draw, and then it was Von Drisseva, who surprised everyone. Four and four on the day. 30. And it was the difference in intensity from Jabir in the previous matches that got everyone thinking she was going to win the tournament because across three or four matches I've just never seen her that fired up that pumped and that focus she looks Juice. like a Wimbledon winner I still believe it's going to happen for her at some point. Oh. Of course, that's the, the added complication, if you like. It's a positive complication, but the legacy that she's building as well, that was you know, that's part of it, I think, isn't it? So much talk about everything she's achieved for Advantage, Jabir. Tennis in the Arab world and Africa and women's sports back home. But she carries that burden, doesn't she? I think she's not just playing for herself on those big days. That's what I feel. It, it, there's an awful lot of weight on her shoulders. Sense of I suppose, yeah, responsibility. Yeah. Tunisian sport as well, of course. It's a, it's a word Bush that is probably overused, trailblazer, but it, it is the perfect word in Anz's case. And arguably, she's, she's already done that, really, hasn't she? I mean, it probably doesn't matter if she wins a Wimbledon final or not. In, in that sense, she's su such an inspirational personality and sportswoman for any young girls who are, you know, want to play whatever sport, not just tennis, back in Tunisia, back in the Arab world, back in Africa. But she wants it so badly. Oh. Already inspiring female athletes in her continent. Well, it was a good hold for 4 2. And just needs a jolt of energy here to keep some of this momentum going. Love 15. And she knew the Boskova backhand was going to go cross court with the passing shot, just anticipating really well. That's for so.
15 all. Well, Boskova's just handling this so well. Not overthinking out there, has come out with a real clear game plan. Just accepting the variety that's coming from the other side of the net. Well made second week there, post cover. Uh, 16 at the All England Club. So form's been pretty good recently. Last 16 Wimbledon quarters in Cincy. I've been confident coming into New York. Thirty all. A solid year for Boskova, hasn't it? It's not really any huge standout results, but she just gets herself to last 16 pretty regularly. And doesn't 40, really 30. have these surprise losses. Yeah, one title that was in on home soil Prague last summer. Hard court events. Mentioned the four top ten wins this season as well. Coco Goff in Rome. Caroline Garcia, Wimbledon, and Montreal, and then the win over Pagula in Cincy. Yeah, Ruska. New balls. Kind place. of precision off the ground that. Helped her to those victories on those sets. days. Game away. Could do with a nice quick hold here and start to put some pressure on her opponent. First her percentage still below the 50 mark. Straight at the end of that exchange, didn't she? Good readjustment from Boskova. Oh, Boskova's up to the drop shot so quickly there. And stays so low on her legs when she plays the double hander. Crowd inside Ash sensing she needs a helping hand here. Two points from this first set slipping away.
Elizabeth. She gives the crowd 30 anything all. to work with. They'll take it right now. They're desperate, aren't they? You can sense it. Desperate to get behind her and try to pick her up. Too much of that this evening. 30, 40. And is she in the headspace to be able to turn this around? Set point. Saved. Juice. Playing a slightly risky game with the backhand volley here. It wasn't the greatest approach either, was it? I thought it might get the treatment that, but lets her off the hook. Back to Juice. Danger averted for the time being. Just Who's going to lead the question? See whether Boskova has the calm and self belief to serve out this set. She's played a rock solid set, five winners, just the five on four starers. Plenty of first serves in play. Love 50. And you're almost waiting for a, a bit of a window from Boskova for her level to drop slightly. Just a couple of unforced errors to give on some belief to pick herself up here and, and get going. the point construction from Jabeur, but Boskova, <laughs> she's been everywhere this evening. 15 all. Oh, she's done her homework coming into this match because Ons does like to drop into the drop volley there. So, you know, if I get head down, rush forward, there's a good chance I'm going to pick it up. And what a job she did. Yeah, full on sprint to avoid going love 30 down as well. That was a big point. Oh. Starting to miss a few first serves in this game. It's given to the opportunity to do something off the second serve. <laughs> Got a 
I see this as a chance. What a chance it is. Yeah, finally. Just going to get a look at a couple of break points for the first time this evening. That's so funny, isn't it? All of a sudden you're looking at closing out the first set. There's been no issues with the first serve. Then you miss a few in a row and you just start thinking too much about the scoreline. And she does break from out of nowhere. That break of serve, and the volume level rises inside this famous stadium. Bushkova leads five games to four for It's game on. 31st seed from the Czech Republic. Can she continue this recovery? 4 5. Let's for serve. I assume that's because of the. Probably eight people back behind Boskova's return position that are mo moving around. With, with pizzas, by the looks of things. <laughs> <laughs> or massive dinner plates. Yeah, it's dinner time, isn't it? You've got to get your food in. <laughs> They're good pizzas, to be fair. Not surprisingly, in New York. It's a safe bet. New York pizza. Oh, even that's dropping over at the moment. Thirty-nine. You think back to a couple of games ago, the three or four shots that Ons missed millimeters wide or millimeters long. Beautiful, absolutely brilliant. Playing some of her best tennis all of a sudden. She's enjoying it. A fantastic Forty decision love. to go deep slice. We haven't seen a lot of those from her. And then straight away opens up the racket face, drop shot. What a lob that was, so much feel. Let for so. Chances to level the set. This did not look on around 10 minutes ago. Yeah. And she has. Yeah. Five apiece. Five games all first sets. And her first hold to love at that. Okay, the Onshabur game inside this famous stadium. That's the bird's eye view. Trending in the right direction. Incredible facility, this, the USDA Billie Jean King National Tennis Centre. Missed it, I think. Yeah. Fifty. Just miles. long. What a pickup for Marie. It's going through her mind right now. Set was done. I've definitely seen her have some trouble closing out matches, but you don't often see it in the first set. And it was just like. One unforced error got into her head a little bit and she started coming off the ball. Let for so. And the forehand side 
is the side to look out for when things start going a bit haywire. This is an important game. A good indication of what's going on in her head right now. After watching that 5 2 advantage disappear. Well, so far, it's been a very, very good response. 40 love. It's well done, good effort coming up with a love hole, but she might be wondering where Muscovy that service game six was. Six games to five for set. Five three a few minutes ago, but she's got the lead once more. Promotion qualifier, I've had a few players who've had a good week in qualifiers and have kept going this first week. Break it down more upsets in the men's straw than the women's. I'm not surprised by any, any of the names in the women's side into the fourth round on the top half. Meanwhile, on the guys, that bottom half, other than Djokovic, absolutely wide open. Yeah, go you, Stricker. Qualifiers, those guys, such a card as well, wild card on the draw into the last 16. 15 all. Oh, that was an absolute knife of a volley from Jabert. Stop dead. starting to come together for Jabir, playing the first volley short more often than not, but just a bit of extra slice underneath the ball. Oh. Pretty good success rate this evening, 15 of 21. She's won. Both have come forward a fair bit. Both got that on 18 occasions. me probably should have let the second one bounce it was so hard to 30, play two 40. in a row when you've got the stadium lights the, the nothingness the darkness up top you lose the ball so quickly painful miss so we've been here before 31st seed with set point a second Higher, and that would have been very awkward. Juice. 
Chabur survives again. bit less aggressive than when she's down in the score line. Third chance to seal the set. Oh. And this time she does yeah, seal it. For sets. Who's gonna Gifted in the end for the double fault. The burst first. And that's a good effort, having watched that 5 2 advantage disappear. She regrouped mentally and got it done 7 5. American hardcore conditions. Look like they're suiting her this evening so far. Set away from what would be a, a first appearance in the fourth round here at the US Open. Already her best effort in New York. Could be a night to remember. She's still coughing a little bit, yeah. isn't she? I think you're right, she's not. I you know, don't want to take anything away from the Czech player, but perhaps not quite 100% physically. Whether that's played its part or not, only she'd be able to tell us. It's only going to get harder as well. First set, just over an hour. Especially when your opponent's hanging in the points like that. 30 love. It's not what you need when you're already feeling a bit gassed, a bit out of breath. And then your opponent makes you play that many shots to even attempt to win the point. Good habit as well, isn't she? Of it, you know, not just getting to that wide forehand, but she's nudging it into a an awkward position. Forty love. Both of them showing off the finesse with the back-to-back -back drop shots. Looking back at the Fruvatovas, Noskova, so many young guns who are being tipped as the next big things. And so there's just that constant flow of players, it feels like. But it, it has to do with, in, in my mind, how big club tennis is over there. You grow up at the tennis clubs. Oh. You 
play club matches when you're a junior and their level's already so high. Club tennis uh, strong over there, is it? That's a, that's a thing. It seems tennis. to be, yeah. And, and it's not like they all come from the same club or they've all had the same coach. But there's a good amount of junior tournaments out there from the grade fours all the way up to the bigger events. And I just think there's a lot of opportunities to play tournaments already from any age. Okay, there's four players as we're referring to the records. Vondrisova, number nine. Mukova, number 10. Kvitova, still up at 11. And uh, Krajikova, number 12. Boskova number six in terms of Czech players in the top 50. Oh. I think it's eight in total, isn't it? Well, she's seeded at a slam and she's <laughs> not even making the Billie Jean King Cup, King Cup team. Not even making the club team. <laughs> 30 old. But you're right, it's a sort of constant conveyor belt, isn't it? For years and years. Pliskova's. Players who are, have just retired, Stritzova. Oh, she really needs those game ones. She's looking a little physically 14, flat 30. at the moment. Drusova, of course, the latest success story, Wimbledon champion. Game Jimmy. One game all, second set. Holding on here. Yeah, reading some quotes from Martina Navratilova, of course, who in many ways maybe started that uh, stream of success and echoing what, what you were just saying there, Laura, that the club structure said so you go to the clubs, you just hang out with whoever's there, you play with whoever's there, adults, kids. Maybe just hit against the wall, there's good coaches. It becomes part of your tennis life, doesn't it, that structure? Love Are they a pretty tight group on tour as well? So there's that sort of support network and maybe hunting in a pack mentality, feeding off one another? Yeah, I, from what I know, they all seem to get on really well good environment they all support each other oh just pulled off that one I mean interesting to hear 15 all. Navratilova say good coaches because at, at, at that age what makes a good coach is it's not like they've all got the same technique and they all play the same way. There's different varieties of tennis all over Czech women's tennis. Oh. Oh. So you think of some of the older players, don't you, as role models, but I suppose Petra Kvitova has will have inspired this this new generation coming through, you know, watching her win two Wimbledon titles. It's just that constant cycle of success, role models to make you believe that it's possible. That's what Ons will be hoping to create where she comes from. Tunisia, North Africa, the Arab world. It's already achieved so many firsts. Representing her country and continent. Oh, 
Just a glimmer of hope here for Jabir. 30, 40. Broke fairly late in the first set. Could she build a foundation here? She can. Game Jibber. So a different feel to this second set. Jibber leads two games to one. Second Tunisian, set. the first to strike this time around. Uskava. Fair amount of tennis still to play in this one. Jibber down a set, but up a break early. Let's see whether that break of serve can this help her raise her game now. Yeah, there wasn't much of a reaction after the break. She kind of just ran to the chair, not willing to spend any extra energy. Oh. It's a bit like from 5-2 in the first set. Jibber not really playing much differently, but helped out by a couple of unforced errors. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. And then all of a sudden you're in the match and you think, well, maybe... They actually can do this. Both could be taking a hint of pace off her forehand in some of these rallies. Just ready for that one that time. 40, 30. Got up to it pretty quickly. Oh, you don't want to overplay the drop shot. Not when Boskova has handled them so well. Let's uh, first off. Well, this was looking like 3-1 a couple of minutes ago. Kind of been the story this evening, isn't it? Just can't sustain any sort of quality for very long. The team looking concerned all of a sudden. Yeah, they're trying to give her any sort of energy. Advantage, Bruskova. That's a tired forehand. Well, this would be a, a bit of a gift of a break back if she can convert here. First set percentage is it's got worse, if anything, after the first set. Game well, it 
that's a New balls complete head scratcher that for me. Two games all second set. Just thinking that maybe just starting to turn this match around. Got the break. 40 love up. And then completely disappeared. Quick reminder to head to US Open Dots Org. That's the online home for this final major of the season. All the live scoring on there, highlights, real time stats, all the draws, the schedules. It's the official tournament website, US Open Dots Org. Deflated at the moment, doesn't she? Mm. Well, they're saying, "Courage, courage." Fifteen. It's a good point you made at the end of the. The first set, it, it's a, a long road to the finish line, isn't it, for Shabur? <laughs> Having lost that first set on any any match, any day, of course. A tough task coming back from a set down, but it feels like a, a tough more. ask. Yeah, and she was just leant over at the end of the last point. So it's whether, you know, not just physically, but mentally, can she figure out a way to turn this around? When all you 15, can think 30. about is how bad you're feeling out there. And she's clearly done that in the first two rounds, but then you play Boskova, who's just going to make this so physical if she needs to. 30 all. Yeah, if you're Boskova right now, you've got to be feeling pretty good about your chances. If you look down the far end, see the, the lack of energy and intensity at the moment by Jabur's high standards. But you've got to, still got to go out there and use this opportunity. Hold it together and this is turning into a, a shaky service game from the Czech now. Hard to focus just on yourself in this situation, isn't it? When you feel like it's almost on your racket, but you've still got to be the one to be brave out there. Well, I'm not sure quite what's coming next in this second set. It's been back and forth already. Leads three games to two. Both players second up and down. First Still, Chabert doesn't look comfortable, does she? Doubled over in the chair, but she's got the break somehow and a 3-2 lead. So with the break, 3-2, trading by a set. Fifteen. Made me smile walking around the, some of the outside courts earlier in the week, just trying to watch a bit of live tennis, make the most of the opportunity. And you go from Wimbledon, which is the you know our most recent major that we've all been at, which is a very different feel, isn't it? And then you come to Flushing Meadows to watch a bit of the Rublev match, and actually the the match where Caroline Garcia lost. It was it was on court five, which is a, a sort of oh, court sandwiched so in between. So much going on. The crowds were going bananas. I mean, as a as a as a Brit in New York, it kind of takes you takes you by surprise, doesn't it? The energy and enthusiasm. And it's not just for the American players. That's what struck me. 
it's just for the sport. They'll they'll cheer anything. I mean, fans going crazy for Rublev courtside. Let second serve. It always makes me laugh because all four slams have their own personalities, but at Wimbledon, one person in the crowd makes a noise. <laughs> person in the crowd makes a noise and play stops and the <laughs> players complain and Four it's all down. very hush hush and then you get here and there's so much going on music noise crowds everything and people just get on with it yeah it's chaos but a good chaos did you enjoy it loved it yeah but i guess there's players in the locker room 40, who maybe 50. don't quite take to it you have to be the right personality presumably because you know you hear some of the players don't you talk about yeah. the chaos here and then you go to Manhattan to try and switch off and that's a different kind of intensity some of the players they they move away from Man from Manhattan don't they during the tournament oh. I think Djokovic is one of those to the break here. Javert leads four games to two, second set. Boskova's just letting some of these points go by too quickly. That commitment to staying patient that we saw in the first set hasn't quite hung about here. Yeah, it's got a bit scrappy. Don't really feel like answers playing significantly better, but she's got a two-game advantage. Fifteen love. Boskova, that's a point to make a note of. Just rallies over four or five shots. How many is she winning right now versus the shorter points? It's got to feel that if she can get a hold here and just stay in touch in this second set, it's still very much a possibility that Jabir will give her opportunities, get back into this second set. She's got to stay close. Yeah, Able to do that, love holds. Four games to three, second set. But it's the number five seed First set with Boskova. the break of serve. Tight one here inside Arthur Ashe Stadium. 4-3. Oh. So 4-3, second set. Right, we're midway through the, the second set, first set to the Czech 31st seed. It hasn't been the highest quality second set, let's be honest, but it's been dramatic and we've just had an injury timeout really out of the blue for Boskova. Fifteen all. 
I know it's slight, slight guessing games, Laura, but what was your take on exactly what, what the issue? Well, I think it's this right leg adductor, and judging from the kind of way that she's walking, Looks like 50. some pretty hefty tapers gone on there. She looks a bit uncomfortable, actually, yeah. doesn't she? Well, sometimes the tape when you start again is so tight on your leg that it takes a few, a few stretches to get used to it a little bit. But it's whether it actually does anything here. And I think we've been so. 40, concerned about Ons, it sounds a bit. Now, all of a sudden, Boskova is really struggling here. Yeah, she's struggling emotionally, just trying to process exactly what's happening. Sensible shot selection from Shabur, the drop shot. You might see even more of those now. Because she'll be trying to gauge exactly where her opponent is physically at this stage. to move. Whether that will start to improve or not, we'll see. But it's all, they're all looking a bit down in the dumps, aren't they, in her box, understandably, because she has been in charge of this match. Really tough for either player here to get any rhythm. that Boskova had to retire from her quarterfinal in Cincinnati. That was a right thigh issue. So that doesn't bode well, Laura, does it? No, it just seems like she knows she's re-aggravated it. It was when she was three love down in a quarterfinal to Mokova, fellow Czech player. idea I think but yeah she's gonna make them. 30. I mean as tough as it sounds you'd just be moving both left to right here don't even worry about the drop shots just yet get her pushing off the right leg 
Obviously, the team will be aware of what happened in Cincy. That's a couple of weeks before the US Open. Can't get anywhere near those all of a sudden. Juice. I just wonder if this set does slip away, whether she'll give the third a go. It actually looked like going out to the backhand was worse when she's trying to hit a semi-open or a close stance, having to load a bit more off that leg rather than just push off. Oh. Center, the difference the not just in the movement around the court but in the intensity after the split step from Boskova. She's so gingerly approaching the shot. Set point. Question. Maybe that's Juice. the only possible route right now for the Czech. Try and keep these points a little bit shorter. So a chance to get this back to 5-4. Yeah, and she does. Good effort. Keep it together emotionally. Five games to four. Survives. Set a set point. She's still going. Arguably better than her opponent now. Yeah, turn into a survival of the fittest, this one. <laughs> Who's going to get over the line? Serving for the second set, 5-4. Has just got to take a bit more control of the situation. Sometimes the hardest thing when you know your opponent can't move to just get the ball and play. First set percentage still at 43, 39 for the set.
And that's better. Well, it was a 67 miles per hour second serve. 30 all. And if Oskova's not leaning onto that one, that tells you a lot. The grimace. Oh. Tells you everything you need to know. She is hurting right now. Good, I think. She expected a call there, but it it didn't come. She's got break points. She couldn't, could she? I mean, this would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this match has had a, a bit of everything. second set. I'm not sure anybody can quite make sense of this set. Marie Buskova has got to be wondering how she's still in this set. All of a sudden, she's just two games from victory. I mean, what was going on with Hans in that previous service game? Is that just being, is that just getting tight because of what's going on down the far end? Yeah. You know, she lost a bit of the patience that she worked so hard to find off the baseline, drops into too many drop shots there, I think. Oh. And 40 unforced errors. Well, she hit 43 against Osorio in the first round. can't recover off the wide shots at all. Love 15. And then on in the second round, hit 43 unforced errors again, but it was balanced out with the 47 winners that she hit. Today, it's not looking quite so positive in that ratio. 32 winners. Well, it, it has to be another break, doesn't it, <laughs> after everything <laughs> that's happened? Crazy set. But it's fascinating viewing. She missed that. I mean, Boskova a little bit faster up to that drop shot, but still should have made the backhand. 15 13. He can't believe it. We can't believe it. Crazy tennis continues. I had the whole court. Could have gone anywhere with that. And Boskova wouldn't have had a racket on the ball. It's a better combination. No chances chasing that sort of shot down right now. Four breaks already in this second set. A 
couple of chances for another. Difficult to tell, isn't it, what the issue is, whether it's, you know, we've talked about the illness at length during this match, whether that's the problem or whether she's just struggling to make the most of this opportunity. I think it's both. I think it's everything at once. But there's still no energy, really, is there, from, from Ant? Still looks very flat. just have to force yourself to go back cross court with this last forehand. Jen looks gassed there, doesn't she? To use the word you've been uh, referring to on occasion this evening. And actually, she's got her sports psychologist in the box, the lady sitting next to her husband. I mean, if this isn't a day for the sports like. Well, this did not look possible after the injury timeout. She would be able to fight her way through this second set, but she's got a point for 6 5. The upset six six is on five, somehow. Set. By one set to love. Bozkova, a game away. So it's now or never for Angebeur. The number five seed, last year's finalist, of course, the runner up to Iga Svantec, this time last year. On the brink of defeat, 5-6, second set. Fifteen love. Positive start to the game. Trying to set the tone. Forty love. It's one of the best games on serve so far. Much better. Oh, the first serve. There has been a struggle throughout tonight, still under 50% first serve in, but needed a couple there, and she has them. So, into a third hour, this one. Two hours and three minutes on the clock. 62 minutes second set, we're still not done. Thank you. There's the uh, total points tally. Oskova edging that, she's a tiebreaker away from the fourth round. <laughs> Missed the forehand. One, zero, Oskova. Oh, you, you can't believe what's happening here.
painful viewing for the Jabur fans around the world. Can she find enough good tennis in the nick of time this evening? to build towards something. The rhythm starts to pick up. Making a few more balls. And then just a... An unusual unforced error where all of a sudden the legs stop working. Another forehand missed. 3-0, Buskevel. What a start for the 31st seed. This crowd inside Arthur Ashe Stadium sensing we're edging closer to an upset this evening. <laughs> well, one of the points of the set. This time she makes the forehand. Three wall. Buskova. Um, Buskova maybe just moving a bit better all of a sudden. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the latest plot twist. This time the level is picking up. And really, that's the first positive reaction we've seen from her. Maybe all set. 3 2, Buskova. Vamos, ready. We got this. So, a good response from the fifth seed, having lost the opening three points. Back in this break and now, back on serve. Enough width. Four two. Who's gonna? And the forehand that she has struggled with throughout the match, coming good with that shot. The 14 forehand winners, but out of those 46 unforced errors, the majority have come off that side too. Yeah. 
issues are not going yet. Four all. Huge crowd inside Arthur Ashe Stadium trying to play their parts. All the Anshabur fans in the house recognizing that they might just be able to make a difference at this stage. Four points apiece. She's played all match. Five, four, Jebba. Is getting tense. Chabur two points away from the decider. Boskova two points away from the last 16. Who's going to blink? doing all the pressing right now. Finds a first serve again under pressure. 6-5. Shibber. I think the whole stadium held their breath on that <laughs> overhead. Set points number two. She's already been within a point of taking us into a final set. Give a serving five six. And she seals it. Game what a set to tennis! Seven. What drama! Seven games to seven. Onshaba holds her nerve to force a final set. We are going New the ball, distance please. inside Arthur Ashe Stadium. One set all. So let's see where this match takes us next. It's been back and forth. Set a piece. Remember they're battling for a place in the last 16. Final set. King Wen Cheng. Chinese 23rd seed waiting for the winner of this match. Came through against Bronzetti earlier today. Fifteen.
got to be the, 40, the play still, hasn't it? Gets Boiskova on the move. Yeah, even though she was starting to move better, there's only one tactic here. Oh. 40-30. It's a weird one, isn't it? Because to me, there's still a question mark over... Exactly how Ons is feeling physically, you know, whether this, you know, maybe this is another 70 minute set and how does that affect her? Does she have enough in the tank this evening? If Bozkova can survive long enough, <laughs> it uh, really is up for grabs this match. the formula not going for broke but she's using the, the full dimensions well she doesn't need to go for broke at the moment because the pace different kind of pressure doesn't it points to defend ranking points try and maintain her place in the top 10 Maybe it just was a case of, well, I've got 15 minutes of solid movement left in. Oh, yeah, she's not chasing down the drop shots. Well, even at 100%, oh, she's not touching that one. That was lovely. Chip underneath the ball. Boskov is such a great competitor that she'll hang out on this court till the very end, but might not be the prettiest. Shows how big that first hold from Jabir was. Three chances to break. Chabot strikes yeah, early Chibot. again. Chibot. No real Two games to love, final sets. ability to chase down that forehand up the line. Oh, does she carry on here? I mean, this looks quite painful for her. Team's trying to do their bit, stay positive. Yeah, there's only one winner right now, surely. I'm thinking the same as you, I mean... All of a sudden, it's not very competitive, is it? Even though she's... Still hobbling around down the far end, she's trying to 
Yeah, another grimace. And there's a lot more of that coming those covers away over the next few games. It's a tricky situation for both of them because if you're Jabir, you, you kind of feel bad about hitting a drop shot. Shaking our heads, we've been here before, haven't we? At the end of the <laughs> end of the second set, we've seen this story. Where does this break point come from? Incredible because three or four points ago, Giverly, we're both wondering whether Boskova's going to finish this match. Back on serve, one, two. Let's for serve. Japan up to 47 total winners. So many of those coming as drop shots over the last nine games or so. For probably the first time in the match, Ons can feel like this is on her racket and it just changes everything. Starting to creep back into the number five seeds game. Seven already in this set. Court, there's no need to open up the line. It doesn't need to be such a low percentage shot from where she's standing to hit that last forehand. Just an 
just going to level us. On we go, set all, two all. Inside out, a reminder once more, stay connected to the US Open on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok and YouTube. And you can join the conversation with hashtag US Open, some social channels to follow all the action on. The remainder of this opening week, we've got another week of tennis to come, of course. Things started to get serious. Tensest, tensest of sets unfolding. So it's only two all. <laughs> I mean, all the actual tennis has gone out the window. It's just who's got more heart? Because you think of the tennis Ons played from 2 4 in the tie break and continued to play to break to love, to go 2 love up in this set. Oh. All credit to Bozkova, she's been pretty steady the last four games. Yeah, it's an indication, I think, isn't it, of how badly these two players want this spot in the last 16. Neither of them willing to give an inch. just someone you're working with or coaching but when it's your wife out there as well sharing every single emotion yeah. played it casual but it's trickled <laughs> over navigates another service game Halfway there, 3-2. Three, two. Three, two, but we are on serve final set. Anne Chabot was fit this evening in terms of her recent health problems. She's had uh, some sort of bug. Oh, what a dig. And I haven't even come on to the leg entry yet, but Bolskov has been managing. How did she make that? just don't know. <laughs> Ons doesn't know. She can do a smile. Boiskova eventually stealing a first set, a oh. tight first set. At that stage, we were wondering how much Ons Chabot had in the tank. And then all of a sudden, the trainer was out for the Czech player for a, it looks like a right leg injury. She's most definitely re-aggravated it. She withdrew from Cincinnati with right thigh injury. It's the same sort of tape that's on now. And there's a lot of grimacing, a lot of points where she pulls up short, but just finding a way to keep herself in this, but being helped out by Jabur, who's 
throwing in an incredible amount of unforced errors. Yeah, just after the injury oh, time, yeah. Bosco was off the court for a, got a long break midway through the second set. It looked like Chabot would wrap that set up easily. Then she disappeared. Back came Boskova. Was two points away from winning the match. Five all in the breaker. Then it was all Jabir. Back comes Boskova. Still no clearer who's going to come through this. tricky and we all know that Boskov is in pain but if you're over the other side of the net and one point they're not running for the ball but then the next point they're finding a way to make it a 16 shot rally you, you don't know where you stand In the set, Jabba had the early break, and it was a point of the match where Boskova really wasn't moving to very much. And then all of a sudden, she looks a little bit better moving side to side, pushing off the right leg. And you could tell it just disrupted Jabba. But she definitely can't move forward to that drop shot. Forward, looking to attack the second serve. Get herself back into the sixth game. Oh, good defense from the Tunisian that time. And we haven't seen too much of that from Ons this evening. Positive. Body language. Well, it's now or never to just hang in this game, get to juice from 40 love, and you're not too far off. at the Jabir player box Jabir. as she was playing this shot. The coach is on his feet, the sports psychologist is on her feet and her poor husband can barely watch. <laughs> it's been agonising viewing at times, 2 hours 41 on the clock. Break. Oh. Oh. Double falls. Yeah, oh, and her leg's just gone. Eight, four games to two. Oh, this Five is the six. trouble. You end up compensating so much to try and hang in there. Because that's the other side. That's that's lower back. 
on the left side, and it's Fifteen just from off. trying to take all the weight off the injured leg. Yeah, down into that squat position again after the previous point, just trying to shake it out and somehow stay in this right now. Barely stand up, but she's somehow executed a, a pretty decent overhead. Fifteen all in the seventh game. The score graphic just a touch behind. From Jaber on the serve, 64 miles per hour. stretch able to control the trajectory of that forehand points for 5-2 now well I hesitate yeah, to say that after the the back and forth nature of this match but maybe just maybe on Shabur has two, done enough now 5-2 which is a game away from the fourth round She's still here fighting, despite the leg injury. Has to hold here, or the dream is over. Coverage. Not done yet, I'll tell you. 13. <laughs> well, you have to laugh at the situation, don't you? Just relieves a bit of tension as well, doesn't it, at this stage? I'm sure they're very proud of her efforts, mental and physical, this evening. Absorbing contest. So much going on. Thirty fifty. It's the close call just behind her on the screen. Paints the line. Back edge. That's nice. Fifteen. Maybe just overplaying 
the drop shots for now. Boskova hanging out around the baseline, waiting for the moment. It drops short. Maybe one too many, the point you're making, Laura. So she claws her way back to 5 3. We, you can go for the drop shot because you know your opponents on one leg, but at the same time, do it on, on a ball that makes sense, not a, as a return if you wouldn't do it normally. Serving for victory, 5-3. Oh. Fascinated to see how this game unfolds. Did everything right, just wasn't expecting one more ball to come back. Thank you. Oh, slid off the hook. Almost missed another. The first forehand was touch and go. So tense out there right now. That was a basic first volley. Surely got to drill that backhand, haven't you? 15 all, three points away. Tunisians watching this one will be behind the sofas at this stage. <laughs> no, it's just missed. Shabert edging closer. inside this place Shabur on the brink two match points She made the volley. How? Oh, they're enjoying it. 40, 30. Oh. Every ounce of effort to stay in this contest. Match point number two. Oh. 
Two match points saved. I told you we weren't done yes. yet. <laughs> it was never going to be straightforward, was it? Vamos, Mary. Eres mucho más fuerte que ella, va. I mean, they still believe she can win this. Yeah, absolutely. Tell from the body language, can't you? Oh. It's going through Jabir's mind right now. I must have thought she'd done enough to win this. I'm lucky. And that saves Javert. Maybe. Five minutes short of the three hour mark. Preparing for a third match point. She's seven, into the last 16. Seven, six, Two six, points three. from defeat in the second set breaker. Two hours and 56 of high drama inside Arthur Ashe Stadium. It's the number five seed who goes through somehow. Five, seven, seven, six, six, three. Wow. That match had it all.